This is how you can create your own Discord server using a Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. So we can start off by going over to a bot and we're going to be using a brand new bot. Uh, for this to work, it has to be in under 10 servers. So this is kind of just like a cool experiment. Maybe you could use this personally or you could create a bunch of bots if you wanted to make this public. Um, but we're going to be using a bot that's brand new that's under 10 servers. And we can go over to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create create guild.js. In here, we're going to do const. We can get our slash command builder. And then we can do equals require. And we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can go ahead and make our commands. So we can do module.exports. We can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our data, which can be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name. This is going to be create server. And we can go ahead and set a description. And we can call this create a server. And then we can add a comma. We're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction. And then we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to go ahead and just defer a reply. So we can do await interaction dot defer reply. And we're going to get infermal. And we're going to go ahead and set that to true just so that you're the only one who can see the reply and the edited reply. Next, we can actually go ahead and create our data for the server. So we can do const data equals. And we're going to open up an object here. We're going to make name, which can be our bot owned server. Um, and then we can do icon, which is going to be null. We can do channels, which is going to be from a template. So we'll just leave that as an empty array. We can do system, we can do channel, and we can do ID. We're going to set that to null, and we can do guild template code. So for this, I'm going to go and make a string. Now, the template code can be used from anywhere. So you can create your own template. You can make a template from Discord or one of Discord's templates. But I'm gonna do this making a template from my server here. So I'm gonna go to server settings and we can go ahead and go to server template here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create the template. So for a video, and we can say this is for a video, just so people know. And we can go ahead and click generate template. So then we can just go ahead and copy this and we're gonna go into here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this. And obviously I'm gonna delete this template as soon as I'm done recording, but we're gonna go ahead and get the ID of that template. So now we can go ahead and make headers. So we can do const headers equals, and we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna get content type, and we can set that to our applications slash JSON, so application JSON. And we can also do authorization, and we can go ahead and set that equal to our token. But because we're using a bot token for this, I'm gonna go ahead and put bot in front of it. Now you could do process env token, or you could just go ahead and paste your token in here. I'm actually going to go ahead and paste it in here um, after I finish making the code. That way I don't have to blur anything out or reset my token. But basically, you would do bot space and then you would just copy your token in here. Next, we can actually go ahead and use the API. So we can do fetch and we can go ahead and get this API link. This is going to be the API link we're going to be using for this. Uh, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and copy that template code and you're going to paste it onto the end of this link. So just go ahead and write that in. Now, obviously, you're going to need to change a template code to your own template. Uh, so just go ahead and do that. And we can go ahead and open this up here. We can do method and that is going to be our post method. And we can do headers, which is going to be our headers variable. And we can do body, which can be json.stringify. And we're going to get our data. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and actually do dot then. And we can go ahead and get response and we can do an error function and then we can do response.json and then we can do dot then once more we can go ahead and get our data and we're going to go ahead and open this up in here we're going to go ahead and start by doing another fetch so we can get fetch and we're going to go ahead and open this up this time we're going to get a different discord API link. So this is going to be the link we're going to be using for this. So just go ahead and copy this in and do data.system underscore channel underscore ID. We can do a comma. We're going to open this up. We can get method, which can be our post. And we can do headers. We're going to get our headers again. We can do body. This is going to be json.stringify. And we're going to open this up. We're going to get max age. This is going to be 86400. So that's going to be the max age of our invite link. Then after doing that, we're going to come right here. And we can do dot then. 
and we can get our response and we can do an arrow function and we're gonna do response.json just like we did before. We're gonna do dot then one more time and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna get our data and we can open this up with an arrow function like that. So in here, this is gonna be where we send the invite link to our Discord bot using our interaction. So we can do interaction.edit reply because we already have an existing defer reply. And we can do content. We're not gonna use an embed. We're just gonna go ahead and write this out. We can say, I have created your server. And we can go ahead and get our invite link. So we can do HTTPS. We can go ahead and get discord.gg slash. And we can go ahead and get data.code. So then after doing that, we are actually done. Now keep in mind, this template, you're gonna need to create your own. So you can do that by creating a server template for your server, or you can find one online. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get the code. The other thing to keep in mind is for our authorization, you're gonna do bot space and you're gonna go ahead and put your bot's token uh, right into there. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna edit that in in just a second. So now we can go ahead and save this file, restart the bot to test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So we're gonna go ahead and do create server using our bot here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click enter here. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and think, and then it's gonna go ahead and give me my link here. So this is gonna be the link to my server. If I go ahead and copy this, and we can go ahead and paste it in, it's gonna say bot own server, and we can actually go ahead and join it here. And if we go ahead and join, it's gonna go ahead and create my server. Uh, from the template that I created. Now, it did not include announcements channels um, and it kind of undid the rules. So it's not gonna be the exact same as the server right here, my actual server. Um, but it did create the template based off of the template I got from my server. Now, the perms are the exact same, so because I'm a normal member, I cannot access anything in here. So because the bot owns the server, the only way to actually get rid of the server is by deleting it using the bot. So I've gone ahead and created a simple command for that. To do this, we're gonna go ahead and make a new command, and we're gonna go ahead and get the guild from the client, and we're gonna go ahead and use the ID for that. So we can go ahead and copy that ID, and we can go ahead and paste it in here. Now, the reason we're doing this method instead of just doing it using a command is because sometimes the templates you create don't allow members to use commands. So this way we can just do it no matter what. So now we can go ahead and paste that ID in here and we're just gonna run guild delete. So if we go ahead and turn on our bot, we can do this in any server. So we can just go back to our bot testing server. And if we go ahead and do delete guild, we can just go ahead and click enter here. And as you can see, the application did not respond, but the server is no longer there. And if I try to join the invite, it is invalid. So that's you can create an advanced guild create command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.